A Hawaii entrepreneur is bringing the flavors of the Philippines to the islands. Annalisa Burgos reports from Manila. For many Filipinos, Mamacitas offers a taste of home no matter where they are in the world. The way you would make it at home is the way we make it traditionally and homespun. And that's why when you taste it, it's like a taste awesome. of your Lola's cooking. The family-owned company exports sauces, marinades, spices, and meal kits to Hawaii and about 80 countries and has been promoting Filipino heritage cooking for more than four decades. At the Mamacitas factory in Manila, spokesperson yet, Ses Gamad okay. and Hawaii-based okay. importer Melody Kalasai tell me how products get from Philippine farms to Hawaii shelves. So this is where all the um, raw materials go in, the fresh uh, garlic, Veggies. chilies, etc. To make its signature vinegars, hundreds of blue barrels are used to ferment coconut flour sap. We have to, to store the sap in a, in a large vat like that oh. and let it rest for months for it to develop flavor. In Hawaii, Mamastita's Oyster sauce is a bestseller. They're farmed oysters. Okay. We get them from Pangasinan, most of it. And I think some of them from are from the Visayas also, which is also made up of many islands. Mm. Products are stored in the warehouse until they're loaded onto trucks and containers. Kalasai says she started with no capital or sales experience more than 15 years ago. We want to bring the Philippines to Hawaii so they will not miss the food that where they grow up with. Now she navigates the red tape of multiple agencies from the Philippines and U.S. and manages the volatility of inflation and natural disasters. On the export side, the real Mamacita's daughter, Clara Reyes Lapus, is trying to boost foreign demand for Philippine artisanal products. The entrepreneurs are even recruiting international chefs as food ambassadors, like Centro 1771 chef owner Vicky Pacheco. So we're going to pair this later with the sukat sili vinegar. Because usually, like in the Visayas, they like when they eat barbecue, they put Vinegar. Pacheco uses Mamacita's products in everything from soy calamansi milkfish to heirloom grain paella to champurado chocolate rice desserts. Yeah. yeah, not only in a typical Filipino way, but in a different uh, form of cuisine, like a French influence with Filipino touch or taste. A testament to the power food has to connect cultures, including Hawaii and the Philippines. Reporting from Manila, Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now. And you can see more of Annalisa's adventures on our website and catch a new episode every Tuesday at 5 p.m.